All right, let's start breaking down this lesson. It's going to have 10 easy licks using slides. So some of this might be review, but what I wanted to focus on with this lesson is just some really beginner licks using slides. I see a lot of students, they, they maybe they know how to do a slide or they know how to do a basic slide with a roll, but then they kind of struggle. Okay, how do I use that slide in a lick? How do I add some chords around it? So that's what we're going to work on with this lesson is taking that basic slide technique and then actually applying it to a few licks. So I kind of think of a lick is different than like a roll. So a, a, a lick can be made up of rolls, but to me a lick is something that conveys a little bit more of a musical idea than just like a slide with a roll, which is a good backup technique. But, you know, I think if to be a lick, it, it usually kind of represents a musical idea. That's how I think of a lick anyway. So that's what we're gonna focus on with this lesson is 10 easy licks using some slides to get you started. Just dip your toe in the water and then we'll again look at how do we add stuff on either side of the lick. So how do we add other chords? How do we add other rolls, other pinches? We'll start breaking that down. Okay, real quick, let's just go over the basic slide technique one more time. So to do a slide, you're basically gonna play a note. So I'm gonna play the, the second fret on the third string with my second finger. And then you can slide it up. So I'm changing the pitch with my slide or you can slide down, I'll do it up here. And what I always tell students is, make sure you get enough of the first note. So the more of the first note you have, the more reference to hear the slide. So a common mistake is to get kind of excited and just kind of start sliding before you hear the first note. So, so what I, again, what I encourage you is get enough of the first note. You can do it on any of the strings. You can't slide between strings, obviously, but you can slide up or down. Most of the slides you're gonna be doing kind of in real life banjo are probably gonna be two frets or, or three or four frets. You know, you're not normally gonna do like a big slide way up the neck or something like that, but you, you could if you wanted to. But, but kind of in general, you're usually just gonna be sliding a few frets. And the other thing that I'd recommend is just kind of in understanding where we're getting these slides from. A lot of times we're gonna be sliding into the fret where our next string closer to the ground is going to be the same note. So in that first example, I'm sliding from two to four, and that four, if your banjo is in tune, should be the same note as your open second string. So a very common thing we do in banjo is once you do that slide is then to do a, like a three finger roll. So right as I'm getting up there, I'm now playing the open second string, which is the same note. You can do it on the fourth string up to the fifth fret, or second string, uh, third fret. So again, it's just kind of those, those spots where you tune your, tune your banjo, but th that's gonna be a lot of where we're finding those slides. That's a very banjo, bluegrass banjo way to, to play a melody is to find that note, go to a lower string, and then slide into it while rolling. So you can check out the lesson I did, basic slide practice that will really break this down in really intricate detail and go through it with a bunch of practice techniques. But check out that lesson first. And now let's start breaking down these licks. So let's start breaking down lick number one. So remember, we're gonna keep it pretty beginner on this lesson. We just wanna start using some slides and creating some little musical ideas. So we're gonna start by doing that two, four slide on the third string with a forward roll. So I'm gonna go thumb index middle. Remember, don't slide too quick. Right when I get up there, I want to be playing my second note. Then I'm going to go up and hit the fifth string. And then I'm going to go backwards, back down to the second fret. And then open first string. And then I just threw a pinch at the end of each lick. So you can kind of hear how it's, it ends. So it sounds like this. So one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Part of what we're practicing here too is, is 
playing with eighth notes and playing with quarter notes. So the pinches are quarter notes. One, two, three, four. The lick itself is eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. So after you play the lick, make sure you don't turn your pinches into eighth notes. You know, because otherwise you're going to get out of time. So really important is keeping that same amount of time. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. So the, the lick and the pinch should fit in the same amount of time if you're doing it correctly. Okay, so you could practice that. So where can I use that lick? It's a nice little ending lick to, to like a phrase. Maybe I go up to a C. And then I do my little ending. It's a nice it's a nice kind of resolve back to a G or you could do it on like a if I'm on a D do it right here so that'd be just some way you could practice it another thing you could do is so what I like to do is once I get down a lick I build on either side of it so I kind of I think of it like a train you know so you're trying to like connect cars on either side of the, the train car, which is your lick. So so one thing I could do is maybe I start, if I want to do it really easy, I put a pinch on each side. So I could go lick, pinch. Start with my pinch again, lick. If I want to make it a little more advanced, maybe I put a roll at the beginning. So I, maybe I do like thumb on the, the third string. And then I go up and do five, three, one. So that's like a, a roll. One, two, and three, and four, and. And now I try and play my lick after that. So I have. Pinch. Let's try it again. Lick. Or maybe I play my lick and then a pinch and then into my C chord. the lick first which is important but if you just kind of know this lick in in outer space but you can't connect it to things around it i found for me it's really hard to actually play that in a real life situation so remember learn the lick but then try and build on either side of it so you could do your your c chord or d chord on on any of those other chords i'm just kind of doing like a forward verse roll and you can do your lick Going to be able to show you every possible roll and and chord you could do after it but remember this is going to be kind of on you to do a little personal practice in taking that lick and trying to put it in a new situation you could even do like an e minor do your lick so all these licks are going to be in the key of g so that'd be the only thing you'd want to practice is you know i wouldn't do this lick in a different key but these all these licks will work in the key of g Okay, let's move on to lick number two. This is another super common one. You've probably done this one before. I think this is, is the B part to Cripple Creek. So we're going to do, this time instead of two, four slide, we're going to make it a little bluesier and do two, two, uh, three slide. So I'm doing that alternating thumb roll, thumb index, thumb middle. I do two slides and then my pinch. you could do is again build around either side of it you could go to your c chord lick. C. Lick. the other thing you could do is combine lick one and two so you could go Instead of doing lick 
pinch, lick, pinch. I'm doing lick, lick one, lick two, pinch. So. so you can basically string licks together, like lick one and lick two, or you could put other chords in between them, or you could put, again, a basic roll. that one eventually with a hammer on but for this lesson we're just going to do them all as slides just for practice all right so that's lick number two okay so lick number three we're going to do a similar idea to lick one except we're going to do it on the fourth string so this time we're going to do a two to five slide on the four string and do a forward roll so thumb index middle four three one are my strings go up and hit the fifth string and then backwards first string third string second fret on the fourth string first string so we have so this is like a nice little fill lick you know again you could do or put lick one and lick three together might sound nice you could go great like around a vocal line so maybe you're you're kind of doing some basic roll now a little lick 